why I quit substitute teaching. Apologize that the sun is setting while I'm making this video. Also that I'm eating chips. I'm just hungry and it's just late. So let's get to the video. Okay, so basically I started substitute teaching about two months ago. It was a very long process just to get to substitute teaching. It took about a month from start to finish, like from the moment I applied to the moment I started in the classroom the first day. To be honest, I loved it. I loved getting to choose what schools I was going to and what days that I worked and not really having a boss. I had a like the school board of education, but no one was like specifically telling me what to do. And I mean, we had a training course, but like at the end of the day, the classroom was in my hands. So I always felt like these kids were, it was a big responsibility to have these kids under my responsibility, but it was up to me what we did in the classroom. And yes, I love following the teacher's plans and being able to tell the kids, hey, we're doing this. But at the end of the day, I just always wanted to give the kids a break. And I felt like that was the healthiest thing for them. And I never enforced anything too harshly or work or anything like that. And I'd never call down to the office, even if a student was being disrespectful or rude. I would literally just talk to them and that would really resolve the issue right then and there. Um, I feel like a lot of the methods I used, and because I was only in school not too long ago, um, like I was literally in college this year, but like an actual public school, I was in public school like five years ago um, or less, but I, the fact that I just felt like I had a responsibility over these kids and to make sure that they were all right and that they were okay. And there were so many times where I felt like I was making a difference, which seems kind of selfish, like you're only in there just so you can feel good. But at the end of the day, I really felt like these kids, you know, felt good when they were with me. And I was kind of in my head, I was like, I could never be a teacher because I could never be a teacher because if I was, I know I'd have to like be much tougher on these kids. I know assignments are due, grades are due. Um, I have a real boss to answer to, but because I'm a sub, I can just be the one who gives them a break. And yes, I do need a discipline. And yes, I do need to have rules and expectations in the classroom, of course, but I'm the good cop most of the time. And I can be like, hey guys, um, we're gonna breathe and we're gonna chill. And I would never raise my voice and I would never want a kid to feel left out or bullied or bad. And I wanted to really, really get to know them and like, it just felt good. And I'm gonna miss it, like, ooh, I'm gonna miss it. But there was some issues with that. Like I said, this year is, there's a giant shortage with teachers. This year in particular, 2021, there's a giant shortage with substitute teachers. And because of that, they were paying substitute teachers a teacher's salary. So I was getting paid what a teacher would get paid, which is great, but that was only going to last till December 31st, till the end of the year. And so first of all, that wasn't long-term, but I'm like, this is a great job. And, you know, I just was happy for the moment. <sighs> Thinking long-term, however, I knew I didn't want to be a teacher because I knew what that entailed. Being a sub really opened my eyes to that. And I realized like being, being a sub is great, but being a teacher would mean a whole lot more and a whole different thing. Um, I'm glad to be a sub and to come in and give these kids a little relief and being a great sub is great but being a teacher would be a whole other deal and that's kind of the road I'm on right now which I realized pretty quickly which is enough which is a reason to get out but also I was creating a bit of um not a distraction a bit of a what's the word I was creating a bit of a creating a bit of dysfunction in the classroom because a lot of kids pretty quickly refining my TikTok, playing my videos in class, which was really anxiety, like would shoot up when that happens because I tell a lot of personal stories on TikTok and my YouTube's out there as well and my Instagram. And that's not something that I particularly want a bunch of 12 year olds 
to find right in front of me. But it's okay because I put it out there and I know that that's out there and it's my choice. But to have them playing the videos in front of me and being like, oh my God, is this you? Yes, it's you. Was so um, eye-opening, but also it was so weird to have kids be like, what are you doing here? If you're a TikTok person and if you're a TikTok personality, why are you in the classroom? It was just kind of like, I don't know. Kids think that if you have a lot of followers that you're famous and you're rich, so you shouldn't be having a normal job, <laughs> which is not the case. And you know, it kind of hurt a little bit, but I never took it personally, of course. Um, you know, kids were just being curious, which is 100% fine. Um, but it was a little bit of a disruption, a kind of a major disruption, actually. I would have kids from other classes come by and be like, my friend told me that you're on TikTok. And that's just, I did not want to be a disruption like that. But, um, and that was only in the month that I was substitute teaching. Since then, I have been offered an amazing opportunity to work as a content creator full-time and create something really, really awesome for Gen Z young people and work on something that I know is gonna be useful and I know is gonna be really great for you guys that I personally would want to use. And it's just something that like, I feel like could be a good thing for you guys um, in the future. So even if you don't need it now, definitely in the future. Um, so with that said, I was given this opportunity and I went for it because um, even though I had my doubts and I was gonna miss substitute teaching, there was just so many reasons to let it go. One, I didn't wanna be a teacher in the future. Two, I was being very disruptive just by being a presence on campus. And I didn't want that for myself, the students, or the other teachers. And three, I was given this new opportunity. So one, my dreams were coming true in a different area. So I really wanted to pursue it. And that's what I'm doing now. And I'm really, really excited about it. And I hope to do a good job. And I've been praying to God that, you know, my accounts continue to grow and that I can continue to live this life and just do a really good job here because I still want to educate and to be this like person that you guys can have a break with and just enjoy and just you know i don't know have advice and just i don't know i don't know i want you guys to be okay because <sighs> i i feel you i'm the most trust me I, I i understand a lot of the situations and a lot of things that go on in schools having spent a lot of time in schools and having worked in schools and just everything i i know about schools so please 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 continue to follow me on this journey. I love you guys so, so, so much. I just hope this explanation was good. I hope this explanation was valid for you guys. Um, I'm still gonna make substitute content because a month is a lot of time spent in classrooms. So I hope that I'm able to share some things. So thank you guys so, so, so much. I love you. Te amo. Bye.